Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today we're with Bianca Romero. She is with Buggy Days, Barnesdale, Georgia. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's nice to be here. Hey, so Bianca, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your uh, your career. Oh, well, I grew up in Panama City Beach, Florida, so not too far from here, about three and a half hours away or so. Um, graduated out of there, moved around a lot. My ex-husband was in the military, so I branched all over the place, all over the world. Um, and then uh, moved here to Barnesville from uh, Miami, actually. Wow. That's quite the jump. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I had lived in Georgia before, and I, I, I liked it significantly better than Miami. <laughs> okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's jump into Buggy Days. Uh, we were talking a little yeah. bit. Off, we were talking just a little bit off air. Where did mm -hmm. Where did Buggy Days start? Uh, so Buggy Days. This is going to be our 49th year this September of Buggy Days. Um, it would have been the 50th year, but you know, COVID. Um, the reason, uh, Buggy Days got started was to try to reach the surrounding communities and get, you know, more commerce into town. Sure. Um, they, they called it Buggy Days just because, you know, the original Buggy Days Festival. So they were trying to bring that to life and everything. Um, they've had this tradition for a while. There's all kinds of things they have for it. They have a really nice parade. There, there, there used to be a lot of games uh -huh. um but now we're trying to restructure and change the games up because um in 2018 they just got rid of a lot of the games so now they're bringing it back changing the games up making them you know a little more modern because not sure. everyone wants to climb a greased pole and that kind of thing we also do a, a 5k a 10k during the buggy days festival it's called the buggy thon it's really cute a lot of people hundreds of people come out for that that one's really entertaining perfect perfect i always ask these three questions Bianca, because mm -hmm. it helps our, our, our listeners get a chance of what's really going on there. What does it look like? What does it smell like, meaning food? What does it sound like, meaning activities and things that are going on, entertainment, et cetera? So let's start with looks like. Where exactly is this at? It's downtown Barnesville. So it is completely um, the main street and the side market street. Those get completely closed off. And we have all the vendors in the streets. There's over 200 vendors. Uh, it all is arts and crafts, so it has to be handmade. Everything must be handmade. Um, it, there's nothing, you know, made in China or anything like that. They want to keep everything local uh, from people from surrounding communities, you know, quality stuff. Okay. Sounds. What kind of activities are going on? Uh, we have, let's see, there is concerts. There's always music playing. There is the parade, which you'll have the local um dance studios they'll have um specials they'll come you know through the parade and they do little dances and things through there all the little kids come out um let's see what other little activities they have there is a kids park which will have wall climbing and different uh inflatables and you know kid activities like that and let's see and then the parade yeah i guess that's about it all right perfect okay. <laughs> food. What's the what's food. the best food that you hear about? Well, the taco truck that we have is authentic tacos, like from from Mexico. Like they're they're delicious, and he has a huge following, and they come for the tacos for sure. But there's a variety. We have uh, their steak sandwiches. Uh, the Middle Georgia Cattlemen's Association they come out and they do special steak sandwiches. What's different about our uh, food court than, than most festivals is that in order to be one of our food vendors, you have to partner with a local nonprofit organization. So you have to give back to the community in some sort of way, whether it's Rotary, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club. You know, we have a lot of uh, charity organizations here. It can be churches as well. And so, you know, you partner with them. And you split your proceeds with them. Yeah, that's even better. That's even better. All right. Two questions that I ask at every interview, whether you have entertainment or not, because I am in live music and live entertainment full time. So I always like to survey the nation a little bit. And this is just purely personal, your opinion. The best concert you've ever been to, Bianca, what would you say? Metallica. Metallica. All right. Dead or alive. You could bring one musical act to Barnesville. Who would you bring? Oh, if it's dead and Freddie Mercury from Queen. There you go. That was easy, man. You were you rocking those quick. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been a little selfish. I'm asking you all the questions. This is a segment of the show. You get to ask me a question. What would you ask me, Bianca? Um, let's do it. Oh, hold on. Sorry, calls coming in. I had to put them to voicemail. Uh, let's see. What would I ask you? Now, that's a really good question. Um, what do you feel is the most successful festival? Like, what brings the people in? You mean just the style? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah like, what so I gets think I'm excited. Yeah. So, I think that the number of festivals that we participated in, um, probably the ones that have the biggest variety of food and the biggest variety of entertainment. Like we've been to, we've been to a New Orleans jazz fest. We've been to the shrimp festival and the Gulf shores. Um, and, and really when those festivals branched out either with their food or with their entertainment, um, that seemed to be the best. We, we, we like to be a part of it, but we also like to see the variety that was offered. That's mm -hmm. a good question. Yeah. It's a good cool. question. Oh, That's I almost cool. forgot. We have a car show during buggy days too. There you go. There you go. So, so tell me, what is it like being, uh, being the chamber president right now? How do you like it? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. I've been doing this for about six months. I was previously the assistant to the previous president. She has since uh, retired and, um, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a lot, you know, challenges and stuff. Cause there's, it's just me and, and now I have an assistant, thankfully, but there's a, a lot of moving parts, but it's always different and it keeps, you know, keeps me on my toes. Yeah, no, absolutely. Very good. <laughs> Bianca, how do people find out more um, about Barnesville and Buggy Days? Uh, you can go to the Chamber's website, barnesville.org. Okay. And we have a little okay. event tab. You can go on there and go right to Buggy Days, and it, and it shows all kinds of things about Buggy Days. All history. right. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us today, Bianca. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of